Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me solving integrals. And today I have the Harvard Integration B 2022 Finals Question 2. So why don't we just get into the question? Well, this question actually uses the same technique as the video, this video, which says it is a summation question from the 2016 JEE Advanced. So if you can recall that video, then you know this looks very similar to that question. The first step is that I'm just going to let this x minus 1 inside of the sign be alpha and this x minus 2 be beta. Okay? And that is actually the exact same thing as we did in that 2016 JEE advanced question. So, if you notice, you will notice that alpha minus beta is just 1, right? And if you recall in that video, we were trying to connect alpha minus beta and sine alpha times sine beta. But how? We used cotangent, or more specifically, cotangent of alpha minus cotangent of beta. And this can very easily just connect these two. So I'm going to do it once again for you. So this will be cosine alpha over sine alpha. And this is minus cosine beta over sine beta. Okay, so now this will be equal to the bottom is obviously this times that, which is sine alpha sine beta. And then the top is, well, if the denominator is sine alpha sine beta, then we just need to multiply by a sine beta on the top and bottom here. So the top will be cosine alpha times sine beta. And similarly for this, it will be sine alpha cosine beta. So we see the bottom is already what we want. So I'll just leave it be. And then the top is, hmm, doesn't this look very similar to sine of alpha minus beta? Well, yes, but not exactly. Because sine alpha minus beta is the other way around. So how do we fix that? Just add a negative to it. So negative sine of alpha minus beta. And now look, we've connected it. We have this and we have this. So. Knowing that this is equal to this, what do we do? When we first look at the integrand, we have 1 over sine alpha times sine beta. So don't we want to evaluate that first? Yes. So if this is equal to this, then we know that 1 over sine alpha times sine beta is equal to, well, don't we just divide this to the denominator? So the top is still cotangent alpha minus cotangent beta, but the bottom is this. So negative sine of alpha minus beta. We don't like negative, right? But we can actually use this negative here to swap the order of subtraction. So I will just erase this. Then we'll get cotangent of beta minus cotangent of alpha. And the bottom is, of course, not negative, but positive sine alpha minus beta. And we know alpha minus beta is 1. So this is just sine of 1. And what is sine of 1? A constant. And what is 1 over sine of 1? A constant. So this is just equal to 1 over sine of 1 times cotangent of beta minus cotangent of alpha. So now we can replace this into that integral. So we will get, we can take this out since it's a constant.
and then I'll also put back the beta and the alpha, so it'll be cotangent of beta, which is x minus two, and then minus cotangent of alpha, which is x minus one. Okay, so now this is very simple. This will be equal to this, and then well, cotangent is cosine over sine, and cosine is the derivative of sine. So isn't it just ln of sine of x minus two? Yes, and then we have to subtract it by. Using the same logic, it will be ln sine of x minus one, and we can simplify this even further, so we can make these two ln's into one ln by putting this on the numerator and putting this on the denominator. So we'll get one over sine of one times ln of big absolute value. And then this is the numerator, and this is the denominator. So the numerator is sine of x minus two, and the denominator is sine of x minus one. And of course, don't forget the plus c. So this is the final answer of the Harvard Integration B twenty twenty two finals question two. Well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy my video and you want more integrals like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.